So did growing potatoes in containers just take a quantum leap? Well, that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. And we're also going to get to sowing some of the first early or determinate potatoes because it's St. Patrick's Day and typically today's the day. So here is a typical container that I use. They came from Oakland Gardens and they have served me really well. I've had these particular containers for the last 12 or 13 years and they're as good as the day I first bought them. They've been really strong. They've got some good holes in the bottom here and along the sides as well. And the good thing is that gives really good drainage. And we've spoken about it time and time again about being able to retain water. I've had video after video showing you how to hold moisture in these containers, but it's still really important that they're able to drain too, because if you allow water to sit in the bottom of them, then it will create an anaerobic environment and that can rot your potatoes. So we really need these to basically drain, but still hold the moisture that we need. Now, the reason I asked if that was a, a quantum leap by here, I have just got a delivery and these are new containers that have come from Oakland Gardens. Now, both these containers are 30 litres, but what I really like about these new ones is they firstly have a double strengthening on the handles. Now, don't get me wrong, I've had these and they've been fine, they've not broken or anything, but that just makes these a little bit sturdier. They've been made uh, with the same materials, so we know they're safe, but also here we have bigger holes and again they are much better in quality in the cutout with some of these they've they're a little bit sharp and things from the process but this process has been moved on but here's the quantum leap guys as you can see the bottom of this container over this one where this one is flat and you put this container onto a hard standing like a patio or something which I know a lot of you are going to be doing the holes in the bottom here are actually stopped from draining and you're relying on the side holes well not only do you have larger side holes here but the feet this has six feet built into the container and they have nice big holes in each of those feet but they would potentially still be cut off but you've got all these holes then right throughout but also in the sides of the feet and i don't know if you can make it out from here there are holes right away around the foot so the foot acts like um just a sink to allow water out especially if you're putting these on a hard standing they're able to drain really well the design of these ones over these ones are night and day but don't get me wrong these are still brilliant and um i'm going to continue using them because i've had them but these new ones are absolutely taking this container to another level oakland gardens again 30 litre these are really well produced they're strong they're gonna last just like these ones have lasted me 12 years and the great thing is they can sit side by side you wouldn't know but like i said they are going to drain much much better and i think that this is going to be a game changer for those of you that want to use these on a patio or want to put them on a hard standing or something like that and free up other areas of the garden to grow in you know you might be able to just stack them on a path and it also helps when we are putting them inside as well but that drainage is immense you you have a look at the drainage through the bottom of that it's just holes everywhere in it whereas here it's not so much and we will get close-ups of that just to show you just how good they are now I've just had 20 more of these delivered and the great thing guys yeah Oakland Gardens are still doing these for 10 for 33 pound delivered very next day 
with my code which is simplify33 if you put that in a checkout you're going to get 10 of these delivered for 33 pounds exactly the same as these ones before so although you've got a much better design in these particular containers it's not costing you a penny more so 10 buckets delivered for 33 pound unfortunately you have to be in the uk only at the moment i am still trying to sort out getting them into the states and australia and things so bear with me on that um your government wants me to pay for taxes in every single state and it's just not possible to um to set up different accounts for every single state but i'm working on it so these are absolutely brilliant and what i'm going to do is i'm going to plant in both of these containers some early potatoes these are uh, a second early actually but they're a, a, a potato called charlotte they're still a determinate potato um, or a salad potato that uh, we grow them for here and they are absolutely beautiful now how I uh, grow in these I want to run through it because I've had so many questions over the potato videos that we're gonna run through it now here I have a bag of peat free compost and it's very fine and there's bits of clay and all sorts in this and I'm trialing a load of different compost at the moment now what I will say none of it is going to compare to this which is my homemade compost okay because this has no life in it whereas this is teeming with life and my upcoming book will talk about that in great detail but for this trial here i want to see the different qualities of compost throughout the ranges that are available so that'll be a video that will be coming later on in the year but for now i'm going to sow these now when I'm sowing, we're going to do both buckets at the same time. And we literally are just dumping about a third of the pot in compost. Into both of them. We don't need to worry about sieving or anything like that. We just want to break it up if it's lumpy. And in my trial with the composts, I'm looking for lots of different things, but I'm trying to get away from the peats and things, but it doesn't mean that the peat ones aren't in the trial. Okay, so we have two containers there, both with about a third of the container full. Now, this is what I use as feed, and this stuff is called blood fish and bone or fish blood and bone it's uh, under lots of different names but essentially it's a, a mix one third uh, of each of them of blood meal fish meal and bone meal and this will give us some good NPK um, for all walks of the uh, potatoes life and the potatoes themselves they you know this will is a long-term feed so what we need is a little handful in each bottom third it's not a lot and we're just going to mix that in really well maybe just a touch more just mix them in really well brilliant and then we're going to place two seed potatoes right opposite the handles there's our two seed potatoes in the next step is to fill this to just over halfway with compost and all determinate potatoes will be grown this way in containers guys okay so just after halfway that'll be enough Okay, and then 
we're going to put just another small little handful of blood fish and bone on top of that and mix that in okay now we're going to get another two seed potatoes and we're going to sow them in this level and they're in opposite of the handles so these four potatoes will grow up out of the bucket and the reason we're sowing four potatoes on two different levels is because determinate or first and second early potatoes only grow on a single level so we're utilizing the space in the container and again the same thing in this one now all we need to do is fill the bucket right the way to the top maybe about an inch below going to put just a little bit more feed in that just mix that in and that bucket of charlotte is sewn i just need another bag So just got to break up some lumps in this one that's come through that's fine we'll break that up and it'll be fine here we are so just another small handful in there and just mix that through and that's it that is our two buckets of charlotte sown that quickly four seed potatoes in each on two different levels and all it is left for us to do now is to label these and to water them and these are away st patrick's day today and it's the perfect day to be sowing and we can leave these outside now and just cover them over if there's going to be a frost dew but i'm going to be leaving them in the tunnel until i'm ready but i just want to reiterate guys i think this will be a quantum leap in these containers with all these holes for drainage you're never gonna have to worry about containers being over wet again the the, the good thing about this design i really like is the fact that you can sit them on that patio so i'm going to get on with sewing the rest of these but if you want to buy some of these containers the code will be or the link to the containers will be in the description below and remember the code is simplify33 all right i'll put that on the screen just here and you put that in a checkout and you'll get 10 of these containers for 33 pound delivered fantastic for the rest of you guys who can't buy them from the uk at the moment i'm still working on it and i will get them out to you Anyway, folks, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like it on the way out. I'm Tony O'Neill. This is Simplified Gardening. Don't forget, you reap what you sow, and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.